Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've had a question that comes up quite often. A lot of people want to display the hamburger type menu on the desktop rather than a regular menu like that. For instance, they'd like to see the little hamburger drop down menu. That's pretty easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any coding I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to copy and paste it if you need to. So let's get started. I'm using Google Chrome for this today. It has some great inspector tools, but most browsers have this feature nowadays. But if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my menu up here and inspect it. Now let's just have a look. When I roll over, you'll see things highlight up there. And as you can see, it's highlighted in the blue when I roll over the top ID top menu up here. So let's make that disappear first thing. And it may change the sizing of our header up here, but that's okay. When we bring the hamburger back in, it'll, it'll work. So just under the float left there, I'm going to left click. I'm going to type display colon none semicolon and as you can see well or as you can't see it's disappeared great well that's the first bit of bit of the coding done we've got rid of that menu up there so i'm going to copy all of this by left clicking just to the left of the hashtag for top menu up there and all the way to the bottom of the closing curly bracket there Control c to copy or right click and copy if you prefer now we need to write this css somewhere there's two options with Divi. We can go down to our dashboard. If I roll this up here and go down to Divi theme options. That'll bring you to this page right at the bottom of the page is a little box where you can write your custom CSS. The other option would be get to go to your dashboard appearance, customize. That'll bring you to this page and you have an additional CSS box here. It doesn't matter which of these you use. They both actually go to the same place. Always a great idea to put a header in when you're using CSS. Makes things a lot easier to find, especially if you write a lot of CSS. So we'll write a header forward slash star star forward slash back up between the two stars. Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So it's a great place for titles and notes and things. I'm just going to call it hamburger on desktop. OK, now I'm going to drop down a couple and just paste in that bit of code that we just copied there. I'm going to hit the publish button. OK, let's go back to our page. Now what we want to do is make our little hamburger appear here. If we roll down just a little bit, let's have a look here. We'll roll down a bit and you're going to find ET mobile nav menu. I'm going to left click on that. And if we look over to the right hand side here, it's got display none. So I want to change that to display block. And as soon as I've done that, that's appeared right there, which is just exactly what we want. And there's our little drop down. OK, so again, we need to copy this and take it to our customizer or wherever it is you put your code. Drop down another couple and we'll drop that in there. Now we can actually delete anything that we didn't write or change. For instance, the float right and the float left up there. I'm going to select that. It doesn't do too much harm leaving it there, but you don't need it twice. And that's pretty much it really. We've got our little mobile menu here. To me, if I look at this page though, it's slightly low. Looks like it's slightly down a little bit. If you need to adjust yours, you can just simply do that with a bit of negative margin if you want to bring it up or positive margin if you want to bring it down. So I think I want to go up a few pixels with that one. So what I'm going to do is drop down again. I'm going to say margin dash top negative five pixels. And that's taken it up by five pixels, which looks like it's going to work for me. So I'm going to copy that, just this particular line this time for the 
from the end of the semicolon there to the beginning of the M of margin top, control C or right click and copy. And we'll drop it just under our last bit after the semicolon there, drop down one. And let's pop it in just below there. Tidy that up. Publish our changes. And let's go and refresh this page. And it should stay exactly the same. And there we have it. There's our little hamburger menu on the desktop. Working absolutely perfectly. Now, if you have a custom header, we have to do this slightly differently. And I'll do that in another video. And of course, if you want to change the color of your hamburger menu there, you do that in your customizer also. So let's grab my logo color here and perhaps change that. I'm going to got a free Chrome color picker here. I'm just going to get that hex code. Let's go to my customizer. Let's just right click and inspect it. And we'll open this up and it's actually the before right here, the color of it to change the color of it. I'm just going to drop down. I'm going to say color colon. I'm going to paste in that hex code. I've got to put a hashtag in front of it. And that's changed it to the color we want there, which is great. So I'm just going to copy this and the top line. Control C. I'm going to drop it down over here. I will have to add a curly bracket on the bottom. Every time you have an opening curly bracket there, you've always got to have a closing one. So let's put one of those on the bottom. And we should be good to go. Let's publish our changes. Go back to our page. Refresh. And there we have it. There's our little drop down. It matches our logo in color. And it's going to work fine. And let's just make sure it's going to stay there on tablet and mobile. I'm going to hit the F12 again. I'm going to get my responsive elements up, the toggle there. Let's have a look at it on a tablet, an iPad. Yeah, that's fine. Let's have a look at it on a mobile phone. Perfect. We can get back out of this and go back to desktop. So there you go, guys. That is how to create a hamburger menu on the desktop with the Divi theme. And don't forget all the CSS I'll paste down below for anybody that wants to copy and paste it. And for the default Divi header, it should work fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.